Now let's set up the Multimatic 215 for the MIG process. Please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips for the Multimatic 215. And remember to wear appropriate safety gear during setup and welding. First, make sure your machine is powered off. Open the side door. Route the control cable through the access hole in the front of the machine. Then install the MIG gun into the drive casting in the front of the machine making sure it's completely seated in the drive assembly. Tighten the gun connection to the receptacle with a threaded side knob. Then connect the control cable to the four pin connection. Twist the collar to tighten. While the machine is still off, connect the drive lead into the positive receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. Next, connect the work cable to the negative receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. Now the machine is set up to DCEP or electrode positive. Connect the free end of the gas hose to the MIG gas solenoid located on the back panel of the Multimatic. Tighten with a wrench. Stainless steel welding requires a trimix bottle of 90% helium, 7.5% argon, and 2.5% CO2 gas. Mild steel welding uses either 75% argon and 25% CO2 or 100% CO2. 100% CO2 requires a gas regulator that is not shipped with this unit. Contact your authorized Miller distributor to order a CO2 flow gauge regulator. Now configure the drive roll. The machine ships with the drive roll set for 030 wire. However, if you plan to adjust, push in and turn until the pen aligns with the proper groove setting. The 024 groove is the outermost groove. The middle groove is for 030 or 035 wire, and the back groove for flux core welding. Next, install the spool of wire and feed it through the inlet guide and close the pressure lever. Note the Multimatic 215 is designed to feed wire from the top of the spool of wire. Using the process select arrows, select your MIG process. The MIG steel options on the Multimatic include MIG Stainless, MIG Steel C25, and MIG Steel C100. Prepare the gun by removing the gun nozzle and contact tip. Then turn the machine on. Now hold the trigger of your MIG gun and feed out wire until it's visible. Reinstall the contact tip and nozzle. Finally, check the drive roll pressure to ensure a trouble-free weld. Place your gun tip over an insulated surface like this wood block and feed the wire until it feeds consistently and curls on the wood without slipping. Adjust the tension as needed. Snip the wire, then close the side door. Finally, select the wire diameter and material thickness if you're using the Auto Set Elite feature. Or, if you're using manual mode, adjust your voltage and wire feed speed. As a guide, a parameter chart is located inside the side door. Setting up your Multimatic 215 to MIG weld is as simple as that.